Hello and welcome back to Maps Online Classes and you are watching English Grammar Class Standard 7 Chapter 4 Phrases and Clauses What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words that makes sense. A phrase does not have a verb. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words that has a verb. It can be a part of a sentence or be a sentence by itself. A clause has a subject and predicate. Example, Shilpa came is a clause. Shilpa subject came verb. In the evening is a phrase. Phrase does not contain a verb. Let's have a look at a phrase versus clause. As discussed earlier, phrases do not contain a subject and predicate. Clauses contain a subject and a predicate. Phrases cannot convey a complete thought. Clauses can sometimes convey a complete thought. Phrases cannot stand alone. Independent clauses can stand alone. Let's quickly revise some of the different kinds of phrases. Noun phrase. Noun plus words that modify a noun performs the work of a noun in a sentence. For example, the girl on the stage is singing. The girl with blue eyes bought a beautiful dress. Let's have a look at the adjective phrase. Adjective plus other modifiers performs the work of an adjective in a sentence. For example, she is wearing a beautiful dress. The boy in the red shirt is my brother. Let's have a look at the adverb phrase, adverb, preposition plus nouns, verbs and modifiers. They perform the work of an adverb in a sentence. For example, she always talks in a good way. She was shouting in a loud voice. Now let's have a look at kinds of clauses. Noun clause performs the work of a noun can be replaced by a noun, usually begins with words like that, what, when, where, how, whether, who, whom, why, etc. Example, on weekends we can do whatever we want. It functions as an object of a sentence. Those who are poor need our help. In this sentence it functions as a subject. Let's have a look at adjective clause and adverb clause. Adjective clause performs the work of an adjective, has a subject and a verb, usually begins with words like who, whom, whose, that, etc. Answers the question how many or what kind of. For example, the lady who lives across the street is my aunt. The book that is on the chair belongs to me. Have a look at the adverb clause. It performs the work of an adverb, has a subject and a verb, has a subordinating conjunction. Usually answers the question when, why, how and where. Example, put the hammer down because you might hurt someone. You can achieve anything provided that you struggle for it. For your homework, complete the exercises on pages 22 to 27. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class with another video.